Hey guys! Clash Royale released their new card, Firecracker! When I heard that name, it made my heart skip a beat. I've been using Firecrackers in my creations for a long time, as you know, and I'm super excited to present to you the Firecracker Firecracker, built with polymer clay and an explosive final! It's been a while since I created anything from Clash Royale and I know that I will make some of you really really happy for myself. I am still playing from time to time. It's still this game when you have like two or three minutes or sitting on the loo. <laughs> it is always a pleasure playing Clash Royale and this is the new card, the Firecracker. It's a she. I won't make the same mistake again by calling a female he like in the Ender Dragon and all of you told me DUDE she's giving an egg when you kill her so my apologies for this video let's get started this is how I started the creation we use a thinner wire than my normal wires and now we are creating the posture on the right side and I am just drawing the skeleton in inside this posture which makes it way more easy to create and we take some clay to just fix the two pieces of wire together look at that it's really easy it looks very difficult with this posture, but it is really not. This is the stand I was looking forward to create one more time, because I am doing this for many, many Clash Royale creations. It's that easy, but it looks that amazing with this brown, and then we have the green on top, but let's put this into the oven. Freshly baked posture! I wanted to make sure that we save our posture. Now we can put on some clay onto the wire. This is the one for the skin color, for example. And we try to create really, really thin arms. The body of the firecracker, she looks almost the same as an archer in Clash Royale. And all the archers have very thin arms and legs. This will be the breast. And we have some further details on the dress she's wearing. We have this pattern and we will wrap it around the hips. And it already looks so ah, elaborated. Yeah, that was the word I was looking for. And look at that. We will attach all the different clay layers together that it looks like just one dress. It is beautiful. We need some help. We need some tool. I have also using for many Fortnite skins in the past. And it's quite helpful to get these imprints on the clay. For example, if you want to use belts or any kind of fabric and you need them to stick together or to, to leave um, a mark, it's always great to use this paper, paper stripe to get these imprints. Now this is the belt buckle, very very tiny one, it's golden, the only royal relict on this skin. And this is the green, apple green, for the grass, which goes on top the brown. And we will add the grass texture. Look at that. We will just make some lines on the side and then we are using the tweezers for these textures, for these tiny holes. And it already looks like grass. It's quite natural. Let me tell you or give you some background information on the firecracker on the card in Clash Royale. For those of you who haven't played in a while, this card has a huge range and splash damage. 
but it only attacks every three, three seconds, so it makes it a really good card. Good on defense, bad on offense. She's very good against all the units that are big and slow, but also many, many troops because of the splash damage, of course. Dangerous to use on offense because her wide splash range easily activates the King Tower. And it happens before I've um, played this challenge where you can unlock the Firecracker. And nearly in every match I've been playing the Firecracker, I activated the King Tower. So, strong defense mechanism. It moves, she moves backwards while shooting. Um, this stresses also um, her defense characteristic, I think. We have this beautiful detail, this rope, which goes right on her hoodie, the black hoodie. And now we can work on the head. This is the neck, of course, same skin color. And this will be the head. I think I improved a little bit on faces and I will share the main secret with you what made me better in creating faces. Mm, this is a human face. I've been struggling with these a lot in the past. My secret for a good clay face and I am still learning a lot. So I don't want to I don't want to sound like the master of clay faces. The secret to a really good clay face is to make it really, really simple. All the times when I screwed up on faces, I made too many dents, I made too many wrinkles, I touched it too much and the faces looked like really old men's and women's faces and not this young, fresh skin faces, for example, in Fortnite. This time I try to avoid touching the, the face too often and it turned out pretty well. Well, at least I made some improvements on the face. Now we have some further details on this piece of landscape and let's put it into the oven. Freshly baked firecracker. Well, without any hair because it was too hot in the oven. They all got burned. Just kidding. This is the hair color. It's pink and the hair is created in different steps. This is the first one. We will use some further pink clay to get this sharp edge right on the forehead and now we will just wrap around all the other hair. It's a really simple technique, but in the end you will see that it will look amazing. I have a really cute background story on the firecracker. This one was written by Noah. Thanks a lot. Once upon a time there was a little archer. Her name was Gwyn and after one particularly rough battle she felt very sad because she had been destroyed by the big bad Pekka six times in a row but she has had enough. The archer was sick of having such little firepower and getting destroyed by all the big units all the time. So she asked the bomber, the musketeers and the fire spirit for help and together they built her a freaking rocket launcher. <laughs> Love that story. Look at the technique I am doing to create these wooden planks. It's really easy by mixing different colors of brown together and we will use this firecracker as the blueprint. We get the size of it so we can remove it afterwards after creating the rocket launcher and this rope will go around. It has the function of um, creating a handle on the rocket launcher so the firecracker is just touching this thing on the rope. We need some yellow and we need some blue and this was exciting to create. We have this beautiful pattern on the firecracker itself, on the rocket, which is sticking inside this wooden tube. <laughs> and now we are just drilling. Well, no, it's more like screwing, screwing up again so many times. <laughs> we create three of these because, well, if one breaks, we still have another two shots 
three shots in total. We can put everything right onto the plate, not the firecracker, and go into the oven. Freshly baked firecracker and freshly baked weapon. We take some transparent polish for the eyes, the lips, the beautiful lips, and also the belt buckle for some shiny details and maybe also on the rocket, on the rockets, on the firecrackers. And now the big moment has arrived. We will just glue the last working step, this rope around the rocket launcher. <laughs> and then, oh, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm so curious what is going to happen. Will it work? Will I just blow up my creation? <laughs> That's it, the firecracker! <sighs> As we still have some plans with this beautiful lady, we will just change the scenery. We still got all the stuff in the studio from our shooting, the stop motion one, the Clash Royale intro. This is the firecracker, a king's tower, which is blue, obviously, because we have a defender, a tree, and also the background. And then the time has come. Let's put the rocket inside. See what happens. Whoa. <laughs> Try again. This was a little disappointing. I drilled a hole. In inside the firecracker so that we don't get an explosion but that all the pressure just goes out of the hole on the bottom <sighs> and pushes the rocket and this time I made it way more tiny oh no oh no <gasps> Whoa! That was so amazing! <laughs> Look at that! There was even some fire shooting at least 10 feet out of the rocket launcher. Look at that! <laughs> Kids, don't do this at home. I'm a professional, I think so. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and the experiment. Have a great weekend and take care, guys. Bye. This was the very first time I used a firecracker and it didn't destroy my creation. Thank God. Also, this is the first time for a 4K resolution, so you can see all the details.